Hey, all you dirt lovers that love to grow things and uh, vegetables, trees, or grapes, or tomatoes, flowers, whatever. Um, I'd really like to show you around in the garden today. We put a lot of time and effort into this. And uh, we've had uh, grub worms wipe us out. We've had uh, torrential rains that, oh man, just flooded the whole garden. Um, and we've been through all kinds of stuff. The floods actually didn't hurt us too bad. The grub worm, grub worms were really bad. Learning to work with this soil, it's, uh, we call it red sand and clay because that's what it is. It's either sand or clay and you kind of mix the clay in with the sand and some compost. Get the right amount of compost blended in depending on, on what you're growing and it does pretty well. Yeah, I'll show you around some. First, I got to pick uh, a zucchini out of here. It's overgrown so whenever uh, all of a sudden I say, wow where did that one come from there's this huge you know zucchini or or whatever we got going here it kind of you know you didn't see it it's all camouflaged in there well we'll just let them get big and use them for seed you know let them go because the seeds really good in those so and you could hollow it out and stuff it with uh you know some meat and some vegetables and onions and bell peppers or whatever you know and stuff it in there and uh bake it and oh man that's really good too so i've got one in here where do you see this thing let me get it <laughs> Look at that zucchini. Thing's huge. It's pretty cool, huh? So that's probably enough seed in there. We don't need that much seed. That'll be enough for two or three seasons or whatever. Give some away. But yeah, it should have some really good seed in it. All right, well, I'll show you around the garden and uh, show you what all we got going on. Here's a yellow squash plant that's just starting to produce. We're in mid-September right now, so the garden's peaking, but we got things that are just starting up and things that are over, over peaked a little bit. And, uh, you know, we got them kind of all over. We just planted some stuff, you know, for uh, the uh, fall, fall crop. Some snow peas and carrots and stuff. There's a straight yellow squash. We got crookneck. There's one I'll let get a little big, but that's still that's still a good one. And then we got all kinds of okra. Here's a here's one of the smaller plants, but you can see a little okra right there growing. And then this this one's already just getting loaded with okra. So I mean we got we're gonna have plenty of okra, that's for sure. There's another one, another one, and little bigger ones, bigger plants over here. See all these okras growing. And these, I've already harvested some off of these plants, but these are just now getting to going. I got another okra plant I'll show you that is really going good, and it has been. I've been harvesting off it for over a month. There's one ready. More yellow squash. Snow peas going right here. There's one, there's a nice little snow pea. That one's ready to go. There's another plant, snow pea. And then, I've got a bunch more over here coming up. I'm gonna see if I can get them to grab hold. Yeah, this one, see, it's already wrapping around it, that line. Come up here and wrap along that one, and then I'll, I can put another line. You know, I can, I can keep going up here and uh, 
that'll stabilize them real good in the winds and stuff and keep them up out of the dirt here's that other okra plant i mean there's one right there there's another one there's some good i got yeah i gotta pick these right away this thing this thing has just been feeding me like crazy oh my gosh they're so good It's a pretty good sized plant. You can see that. I uh, it might be hard for you to tell, but it's it's about waist, a little over waist high, maybe. Uh three feet tall. Carrots. Some carrots. More squash. There's one I'm letting go to for seed, real big one. Crook neck squash here. Eggplant. A little dirty when we're watering. We're, we're hand watering them and it splashes dirt all over everything, but we just rinse them off, man. They're really good. Oh man, I see a nice big one right there. Good old eggplant. That's good stuff. You can put it in just about anything. We've been putting them in our omelets. We love to eat omelets on the weekends. And then here's another more squash. This thing, this plant here is just, I think this one plant would feed a whole family. I mean, they're always just growing like crazy in here. Look at this. There's more over here. I had a Siamese twin one come off of there, that plant. Some radishes, seed. So I let that go to seed, so we'll have plenty of seed radishes next year there's another okra plant some red radishes there got white and red i think those are red those might be white i never can't now those are white i think that, that's the red one there yeah those are the red ones here and then got some melons growing there's some real little ones coming up there and uh you got this this guy here i think that one's ready i think this one yeah it's ready that i can eat that one that's one of those sugar babies i believe they call them they're red and really sweet and juicy here's some more melons i've already harvested one and i've got it two more that are ready this is about the size they get right here Nice watermelon. Another one there. Another one over there. Yeah, I mean, here's one that's ready. And this one is ready. I think this one's a little riper. Yeah. That one's ready to go. Oh, man, it was good. A lot of seed in it. They're, they're orange and they're, oh, they're delicious. Here's that big old zucchini plant it's got it's always loaded with zucchinis uh i'm always a little scared digging in that one because look at that it's like a jungle in there if there's a big old rattlesnake in there you wouldn't be able to see it You'd get bit real easy we just killed one a couple nights ago my wife killed one at nighttime she's out there with headlamp and shovel looking she heard a rattlesnake she out there looking for it and uh yeah, I killed it one-handed. Had the headlamp in her hand instead of on her head. And the shovel in her other hand. Here's some onions. Those little onions. They're really good. Uh, what else do we got over here? I think that's... Oh, we got tomatoes. Check out these tomatoes. Here's, these are grapes. These will probably get something out of them next year. It just started, I just started it this year, so. But it, it's doing good. And here's our tomatoes. I got one right there. It's ready to be picked. Yeah, that one looks good. I've been getting quite a few tomatoes out of here. Let's see. They're beef, beef steak. 
tomatoes. Some of them are pretty ugly looking, but oh, they're so good. Sweet and juicy. I mean, this thing's loaded with all kinds of tomatoes. And then we got the smaller ones over here. There's one. So it, if anything, if it's like last year, there's one ready to be picked. We we could still be harvesting into uh, November possibly. I mean, some of these plants, well, I'm sure the tomatoes won't because they freeze up. But some of these plants can handle those light freezes. Well, let's go over to my wife, Amber's side of the garden. And uh, she grows different things. She she does things different. She, she taught me a lot of this. See how I've uh, made these cups right here. Like kind of you dish, dish it out a little bit so the water can puddle in there. And then we're always trying different things and we're always learning. But it seemed like that worked the best for the way we're hand watering and stuff. But you can see how I've got those yeah little divots or whatever yeah you just fill those up with water and then it'll it'll puddle in there and soak in real real good especially when it's, we get the real hot dry times and then if it rains and it feel if it rains too much you can break the little dam you know just like break this and let it drain out into the trench and trench it out of there those are microgreens right there, and radishes. I got more microgreens right over there. There's a cantaloupe, cantaloupe plant. It's still pretty little, but it's growing. And we got some more. There's another little one over there. Uh, I love cantaloupe. There's one. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a few of those before the first freeze. Cause, oh, cantaloupe. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna grow more next year. So here's Amber's stuff, and these are uh, uh, what are those called? Them big old huge squash, spaghetti squash. Yeah, spaghetti squash. Look like watermelons almost. They're big. But she, she grew them out of a bucket, man. She's like, just another experiment. She planted them in the bucket and they vine out right over the top of the bucket and spill out all over the ground. And they're growing really good. I mean, she's she's got some really good stuff. She's been harvesting like crazy too, all kinds of stuff. I don't know what, that might be another spaghetti squash. It's a little younger right there. And her tomatoes are coming out of those buckets. And there's one turning colors, about ready to harvest that one. She's got beans growing right through there. Some of her bean plants, they didn't look like real deep green leaves or anything. That one there, look, those look good. But uh, they grew really good beans. She got a lot of good beans out of them. Some of this stuff, you know, I don't even really know what they are. The greens and stuff. You know, that, that's carrots. And then, I think that's pump. She's got a pumpkin over here. Check this out. Nice pumpkin. If I can put my hand on it, you can kind of tell how big it, it is. But yeah, it's turning colors. It's that would be a nice one. And then she was she likes growing gourds. So let's see, she's already harvested some. She sold them. She sold some, and here's some more like birdhouse gourds. And we yeah we've made birdhouses out of them before, and they worked. I mean they were beautiful. They worked really well. Looks like here's another one down in here. 
see if I can get it. Let's see, there it is. Oh yeah, there's a bunch over there too. And she's got all kinds of squash in here. We we just, I guess a lot of people do you get too many squash. You can't eat them all. See, so you take them to your friends and try to give them away or trade them. And here's some of her greens over here, man. We have, she's been taking them to her to work and uh, trading and selling them to people at work. She's got all kinds of greens here, and we're eating as many as we can. Our grocery bill's going way down. I can tell you that. All you guys that are into the names of this stuff. I can't ever remember, I don't even try. I, I know that certain things are, you eat the leaves on them, you know, I know that much. Looks like some lettuce there. There's some tomatoes. Hopefully we get, yeah, we should get some tomatoes. There's some right there, we should get some tomatoes out of these. They're just, these are real young. They're just now starting to, to go. There's some beans. I think that spinach there. Really, I love spinach. And an omelet. Oh, man. Heck yeah, we're on a salad. There's her beans. I think these are over, starting to get over the hill, but she's... Still harvesting beans off of these. Yeah, down low they look like this one down low doesn't look all that great. Then you come out here to the end of it, there's all kinds of beans that are still coming out. So I think those are winding down. She's got more over there that she that she'll get some more beans out of. I love this. This is one of my favorite greens right here. These are so good. We eat the stems and everything. You just cut them up, steam them in a pan, you know. I mean, just for a little while, just a few minutes. And uh, they soften up and they're just excellent. Or you just eat them raw, crunchy. We like growing these, growing flowers too in the garden. There's that. Oh, and these rutabaga. Those things are good. Weird looking plant. That, you eat that right there. It's a like a root top plant. Look, she's got um, she's got carrots in these five gallon buckets. And those things are got to be crowded in there, but. Wow, they're growing good. She's done the tomatoes in buckets before and it worked real well. And one of the reasons that she did it is because of rodents. She's afraid that the rodents are going to get to them. But we're not, you know what, we have rodents out here, but they haven't been an issue this year. We're not having problems like we've had when we lived in Nevada. We had a big problem with the squirrels. But we're not, we don't have any squirrels here, knock on wood. I know they're in the area, but we don't have any right here. We're thankful for that because they will wipe you out. Well, I hope you like checking out our gardening experiment here. It's, that's what we like to call it because we're always trying something different. And you'll never learn everything. You'll never know it all. And you're always just, uh, so I I'm going to try this or I'm going to try that. And, ah, oh, that didn't work. Or, yeah, it's working good. You know, it just, it's fun, man. That's what makes it so much fun. And, and it becomes addictive and you just got to keep doing it. And we're looking forward to next season too. But we love watching all your guys' videos. Uh, we watch them and we, we learn a lot from everybody else out there that is growing, especially the people in the high desert growing. But we like watching... Uh, 
from Alaska, Canada, all through the U.S. to it, what they're doing, because everybody's got these great ideas, and we try to pick up on that. So we got us a nice big area here fenced in to keep the cows out and the, the deer and antelope and all that, and we got these dogs that chase them off, and so uh, we're not really having a lot of problems other than the grub worms. You know, the grub worms got us pretty good, but we don't seem to be having that problem anymore. I guess they mature and come up and uh, move on, turn into bugs and go do something else. But keep up the good videos out there. We love it. Keep trying hard and grow some good food. See you next time.